Let's talk about stage fright. You know the time you walk on the court for your match and nothing feels right. You are missing every shot. Your feet are moving and they're heavy and they feel like lead. You're missing your, you're hitting long over hitting and everything you touched just turned into dust and you're going absolutely crazy and perhaps crying. In this video, I'm gonna share with you three checkpoints that you need to calm your nerves when competing. Something that is easy to tap in during your match just to keep your bundle of nerves under control so you can move on with your game. And these are the very same checkpoints that I'd used during my tennis career. If you are new to my channel, please take a second to introduce yourself on the comment below. And if you're returning, please say hello also. And welcome, I am Patricia He. I was on the tour with a career high ranking of 28th in the world. I was number one in Canada and played in three Olympics, Los Angeles, Barcelona, and Atlanta. After I retired from the tour, I transitioned into coaching where I'd worked with pro players and juniors transitioning them onto collegiate tennis. Among many of the players I worked with, I also work with our two children who are currently on the men's and women's team at The Ohio State University. I am the creator of the newly launched tennis community on Telegram called Game On with Patricia He. It's basically a journal of my tennis career as a coach, player, and parent coach in information that I wish I had known when I was on that pathway and it would save you heartaches and thousands of dollars. So give it a try. It's free, no subscription. Just go on Telegram, look up my name, Patricia HY, or type in Game On with Patricia He. I look forward to seeing you there. As you all know, Mental strength is the number one better ground to high performance. And I have transitioned, I've, I have extended my 40 plus years of tennis experience onto mental strength training. I cannot tell you how excited I am when I see players I work with that they make that breakthrough. Without further ado, I, we are gonna be talking about the three checkpoints that you need to calm your nerves when competing. Checkpoint number one. When we get really nervous and going frantic in our mind, the first thing we do is we stop breathing or we go into shallow breathing. Yes, I know you breathe to live, but to be able to compete when you're in that frenzy, you got to calm down your mind because it's a chatterbox. You got to calm down your mind. You got to be able to relax your muscles. And the quickest way to do, do is to give it some oxygen, do deep breathing, diaphragm breathing, which I'm sure you've heard of. The way I do with, our, with my players is that I have them inhale of a count of five seconds while, while they're inhaling. They, it, you want to feel like your belly is being pushed to your spine and then you hold for two seconds. Then you exhale feeling like a blowfish with your belly blowing out and that's when you exhale. That motion alone, will you will feel a relaxing sensation across your body and your mind will quiet down. Checkpoint number two, you need to calm your nerves when competing. Is talk to your feet. Yes, talk to them, look at them, because I can guarantee you when you're stressed and nervous, your feet are going to stop moving. You got to get them from out of that cement, talk to them, have them move. And that is a gentle reminder to redirect your focus into the important things that you need because your mind is running wild. Breathe deeply, move your feet. Then that brings us to the third checkpoint that you need to calm your nerves when competing. And that is racket speed. It is so natural when we're nervous and tight, the arms are going to feel like lead. It's hard to swing through that ball. So keep your racket speed up. Try one of these checkpoints just to get your nerves under control. 
1992 at the US Open, I came up against the teenage, an American teenage phenom, Jennifer Capriati. She had won just about every WTA tournament, including the gold medal at the Olympics. So naturally she was the heavy favorite to win the title at the Open. We were scheduled because I was a nobody. We were scheduled on the grandstand, which at the time was the second biggest stadium at the Open. And the match started, the crowd was, it was, uh, you know, half full, but as the match progressed, words got out that their darling was under attack, losing. So the, the next thing I knew, the entire stadium was filled. And if you ever been to New York at all, you know that noise and the stomping feet, and they're just loud. The entire stadium was just rooting for Jennifer, and I had my coach, one person, rooting for me. We come to a point where I, Jennifer was serving and I had two match points in a row for 40-15 for me. And throughout the match, I was very, I was very successful coming into the, to the net. And I remembered, my, it reminded myself to do so. First match point, I come to the net and I missed a volley by an inch. And I thought my heart was just going to come out of my throat. I could just hear that thumping. I'm now desperate. Oh my gosh, I just lost the first and the crowd is going wild. I went into my bubble. I did the three checkpoints. I slowed down my world, took some deep breaths, walk slower than I normally would, get to the baseline. I'm looking at my feet, move. I'm talking to my feet, got to move. And I'm banging my rack. I'm shadowing with my, my stroke. Got to keep that racket head speed. That, those are the three things that just kept, kept turning coming in my head. The point started. The second match point I had, went to the net, made that volley, and the rest was history. So I invite you to give this a try. Practice your breathing at home. So when you go back out on the court, you can do it automatically. Talk to your feed. Keep that racket speed. If you like this video, like it and hit that subscribe button. Until next time, take care and thank you.